Hi everyone, you're watching Jana FX and uh, in this video guys I will show you a little bit of today's day trading with uh, my strategy and also I um, told you guys this weekend that I have a new version of EA uh, and uh, I will try maybe to make these videos daily to show the um, system and the way I'm using EA. So EA right now I'm still testing and so I want you to see more details how it works and of course I'm going to check if uh, everything is alright and everything is working. So you can see, you will be able to understand how the process um, is uh, working because I have a lot of questions about how to use an EA, how to use the system, where to place the orders and so um, let's see how it will uh, work. So today, uh, Monday, uh, still for me and uh, it was um, a bit of uh, trading going on except you know guys usually I don't really like to place my uh, trades on Mondays and I like to watch what is happening on the market and uh, there were not very many movements but anyway uh, there were still some and uh, before I will show you everything what was um, uh, happening during the day, how I was placing the trades and how they worked out. So I want to show you results. So this is another account I have now. It's a real account also, uh, live. And uh, so that's the trades. You see, it's very small lot size. And that's how I always, guys, to suggest if you do trades, start with the smallest possible lot. Okay, so that's not very small account, but still, uh, because the lot size can grow with the recovery system built in, so that's why I always start with like not point not two. I'm using the minimum lot size because I need to split it into into uh, into half, and that's why that's the minimum I use. So we had. Uh, today I had, you see, that's the whole split order, so I had one uh, order, then I had another one, um, so it's two, three, four trades, which all closed with profit, uh, you can see right now here, and I have another trade is still running and it's floating with negative at this moment, you can see it's euro pound. And uh, uh, you see, guys, it's in points now. That's what I was telling you. The new EA, that's what it looks like. And uh, instead of pips, now it's going to be in points. So it's uh, stop loss in here right now. So that's where was the entry point. Uh, and um, I'm going to leave, well, this is going to be running this um, trade. So we will see if it's going to hit our stop. And uh, pretty much uh, going to be quite good to check how the EA will cope with the uh, loss recovery right so if it will hit it it will uh, switch on the recovery so and uh, here on the left that's where it shows you the recovery take profit the stop loss and how many attempts we're going to have so at this moment we are just still in a trade and waiting to see what's going to happen so through the night and uh, after this um, uh, day uh, of the trading I will also run uh, a little bit through the pairs and tell you where and what I look for uh, tomorrow where I will be looking to place new orders because right now uh, into going Asian session I'm not are placing any orders okay so that's the only euro pound running at this moment and now guys so we are looking at what uh, was happening today uh, so in the morning um, European session I was placing my orders as you can see guys so I'm starting with gold and uh, I'm using the level lines and also trend lines so the one horizontal line is the sell uh, and uh, this uh, trend line see I'm using it uh, with the tops is the buy and uh, the distance also you can see on the left uh, once again uh, settings are 210 points away from the level so I have pending orders so I'm looking through the next pairs where to place my orders so now you see I'm using um, level lines uh, for buy stop and sell stop for pound yen and uh, also the pending orders are 200 points away from the levels. You can see guys I'm checking out the um, 
uh, width of the channel so up to 20 up to 30 pips maximum so best I'm looking for is 20 now I'm just doing some uh, adjusting some settings because settings are pretty much the same uh, for the pairs uh, except uh, there could be slightly uh, more plus minus because of the spread some pairs have bigger spread some uh, lower usually it's slightly bigger compared to euro dollar so and uh, now you see uh, that's where I placed my orders for euro pound because it's pretty much uh, created a possible double top and uh, so you see guys I have been I'm not sure about it, but still was hoping that it might get me uh, 10, uh, well, 12 pips or 120 points. So I only had a sell order for it. Uh, now I'm going into dollar yen. And um, remember from the analysis I had, so it was looking like dollar yen creating us a possible um, bearish flag. and uh, But at the same time, it's quite looking... Uh, that it could be uh, turning into a triangle so that's why I have decided to place orders both directions and uh, one is the buy order as you can see now is a painting and also the trend line sell painting order so of course I have some other pairs to look at uh, for example New Zealand dollar uh, created a not bad um, consolidation channel so I have placed orders also for dollar yen and uh, the same the the width of the channel you see is around 20 pips uh, which I'm saying that's the um, the best I'm looking for 20 pips channel width size so here in New Zealand also uh, looked quite uh, interesting uh, and I have decided to place another trend line also because it's a quite good support and so it's a one uh, order also one direction only for sell so euro yen uh, also I had trades before and so I have decided to place again because it has nice uh, channel at some uh, levels it is uh, it was also possible going either direction so it's an uptrend channel so it's uh, pretty much could continue the way up and at the same time who knows like I'm saying if the strategy is pretty much not very important which way it will go as long as it will go enough uh, to take at least half position so pretty much the settings are all the same uh, closing half position at 120 points uh, moving the stop loss into break even and uh, the rest uh, of the lot size uh, should continue with a trailing stop so that's it guys the settings are all done and so now it's just I had to speed up a little bit because uh, it's been all day and uh, you can see right now it is here in New Zealand got us into the first trade uh, the sell stop walked out as you can see guys the stop moved uh, half position closed and the stop is 30 points right now which is only three pips it is actually at break even but the new feature in uh, the EA now that uh, the break um, at uh, break even point with a little bit plus few pips because of the slipperage we have very often these days and uh, usually it slips through the break even and gets me with a very small uh, uh, loss and that's why now we have that a little bit of uh, extra pips to get out uh, avoid the slipperage and uh, get uh, at least with a little profit so you see guys some more trades get in we have gold now and euro pound and pound yen so at this moment euro new zealand is the only one which uh, already have held positions the other pairs are just balancing around you see guys for example pound euro pound it was possible manually to move stop and break even myself but uh, it didn't move yet like our 12 pips we want 120 points so that's why i'm leaving it uh, I left it so you can see guys gold now is also closed half positions and uh, the rest of it is uh, uh, you can see that stop loss didn't move because it was a uh, jump up wing so that could happen because of the um, on the broker obviously uh, that the price 
just slipped and so the, the stop loss didn't get uh, into break even but anyway so it runs at least half positions with closed with profit so pound yen is also you can see now closed with half profit and so you can see it's only not point not one and uh, gold is just continue the way up and uh, so quite possibly you see now it's a proper candle so it's moving not as fast slowly and it moved our stop into break even with only with five pips uh, just a little bit just in case if it will have this sub jump jumps again so we will uh, if we hit we will walk away with a small profit so um, see at this moment uh, we have already only gold and euro pound running the pound yen closed now gold also closed and we still have just euro pound floating pretty much if you look at different candles pound yen uh, euro pound i could have really closed with maybe just a uh, small loss uh, zero uh, but I left it so now I'm placing some more orders uh, like euro dollar I placed now pound dollar also is uh, at one of the um, support areas and I'm checking out the other pair so you see I'm just speeding up it's a little bit too fast but I was um, Look, look, for example, Australian dollar, I wasn't sure about it, didn't place any orders. The other pairs also, I'm just checking out where it could be possibilities, where it's too close to the other levels. So running around through the pairs and uh, uh, waiting time. So I placed another buy order for gold. And you can see again, we are in a trade, in a profitable trade, half positions closed. And uh, it is uh, another half with a... Uh, at the break even so which also been closed so uh, uh, that's it uh, the end of the day and uh, I am now uh, looking if I have any painting orders left you can see for example euro doll I'm removing them because in the Asian session I prefer not to leave the uh, orders because uh, yes at night it might have a move but it might jump up or down once again and the spreads are wider and the slipperage can happen so you can see all the orders which didn't work out so I'm just cancelling and checking out every single pair so I wouldn't have anything and also you see the pairs like New Zealand, Yen, Australian they might move during Asian session but um, if there are no news that um, you know it could be just slow movement so like I said those jumps ups and downs so I'm not risking it so and that's pretty much it for the day that's how um, it worked out and let's have a quick look for tomorrow what I'm looking at and what I will be planning to do. I'm not going to plan, uh, I'm not going to place any levels as I said in the night. I'm going to look into a possible uh, European session. So look at this euro dollar. Uh, started to create us a little bit of the triangle. So I'm not sure if it will have movements. Maybe it will be just moving inside this triangle and that would be the possible good entry point. Uh, we will see because uh, quite possible euro will be waiting for the news. Uh, there will be monetary policy, ECB, um, um uh, what you call it um uh, interest rate decision but they're probably not going to change it but uh, that's quite possible that euro might start to consolidate maybe we'll have a little bit of jumps ups but uh, let's see that's the uh, at this moment um i will be looking at so um where it will be going so at this moment i'm saying this would be the best area for me to go for some possible entry points uh pound dollar i have put this uh, pair inside the downtrend channel so it has pretty much this previous consolidation and some tops uh, in this area so if it will tomorrow consolidate you see um, I'm not going to place the buy orders if it will start to have consolidation here so you see guys that's how you prevent yourself from um, possibilities who knows right if it will start to consolidate and you place the orders it might jump and not go uh, higher because of this uh, uh, trend level so that's why if it will start to consolidate I probably will be looking just to place sale order pending once again if it will go further inside this area closer to this level uh, or maybe would like I mean okay it might go up might go down and started to get narrowing so then I will be using already for placing the buy orders but not until it gets into this area so that's the part 
pound dollar canadian is already uh, had a move so it used the same area as i highlighted previously uh, it was actually quite nice move today and uh, well it this this moment it's reached this area remember we had double top from the previous week uh, so uh, i will be just seeing waiting for it to go probably inside this area once again uh, and uh, i mean okay this moment it's also looking more towards uh, placing the sale order because it's uh, a better area in here for just one uh, way but if it will start to consolidate above and possibly uh, you see it might be a little bit wide uh, you see, well 23 pips not bad so yeah if it will sit in here consolidate then I will be placing both directions right but this will be tomorrow so nothing today uh, pound yen so um, well pretty much as I was expecting it went into the side movements and here if it will start to consolidate in this area I will be again looking at placing orders possible so euro pound we are still floating let's see what's going to happen at this moment of course uh, I wouldn't be looking into any other trades uh, until uh, it will do something about this movement so euro uh, dollar yen uh, that's the same area so if it will see this is for our chart you see on the one hour chart it's a bit better view if it will consolidate in here then I will be using this again place in the orders both directions because it might continue the way so you see I'm not uh, I didn't draw it like this but it might continue uh, a little bit so the more narrow in this area the better because then it would be more distance uh, a better distance we see from here for example go to around this area which is about 30 pips so we have to uh, go for very small take profit once again and uh, but still it's more looking to go down uh, looking at this is a bit uh, except yes it's tried to break through and so that's why I need to see what um, is going to how it's going to consolidate tomorrow will it sit in this or during the night what is going to do if it's going to have any ups and jumps uh, Australian dollar is uh, also I look at this so many wings so quite possible at trying to get into this area which I showed you guys in uh, my weekly analysis it's just a little bit different um, account so that's why you don't see the blue level so that's the the trend level so you see I have lots of space to get to this area and a lot of space to go down so that's why this movement I do really want to go into here and then I will be looking possible entry points uh, gold very messy today as you can see even though we had little bits of trades uh, and uh, it didn't make still big moves I'm like really really want to catch a good move I uh, have no idea when it's going to happen so best area for me would be if that movement would go actually in here somewhere around this so maybe it will you know continue at night going like that and so in something like this would be really good uh, for both directions once again it either can go up or can go and fall so that's pretty much it with the other pairs we still have you see New Zealand dollar uh, possible channel Euro Australian also makes quite good moves from time to time so I would, might look at it but at this moment it's not giving me anything maybe some consolidation in Syria Euro Canadian uh, also don't like anything at this moment Euro New Zealand mm, nothing at this moment maybe if it will continue that way but let's just see what else we have Euro yen the same uh, nothing yet okay uh, dollar, dollar Swiss so you see I was looking at it possible uh, this is the nice uh, consolidation but it's very close to this area so it's probably like hardly 20 uh, 30 peeps as you can see at the same time it can uh, go a little bit like like this who knows sideways so it might just uh, sit in here I mean it's, it's been going down for a long time and it's pretty much in its bottom except it still has room you see to go further but it's a little bit uh, more looking like a double top a double bottom so it's more towards going up a possible uh, but it has so many wings in here guys so that's what I was saying sometimes wings can show us um, the direction so it's trying to reject that level so it's beating and beating here and uh, so possibly if it will give us something like that that's why it's quite dangerous to place a buy order it might jump up and down uh, if it will do something like that again it would be more uh, I would be more considerate to sell so it might more go down if it will give like a candle something like that a pin bar 
So that's why I didn't want to place anything during the day. But tomorrow we will see uh, what uh, it's going, how it's going to consolidate. Because if you look at this, uh, that candle happened. You see, three o'clock in the morning for me. Uh, well, not for me. For the chart, it's a uh, Russian time. So it's uh, about one o'clock. It was for me. Yes, yeah, so two two o'clock, three o'clock. It's about one o'clock for me. A.M. So. Um, that's why let's see if something happens at night in here then maybe give us a little bit more glues clues if we want to continue way up or it actually wants to still go down okay cut chf i don't want to do anything pound also chf uh, nothing at this moment pound canadian uh, nothing and uh, that's pretty much it guys so um that's my view again on for tomorrow Hopefully, I can will be able to make another video like this to, uh, tomorrow. And uh, if you like it, of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, happy trading, everyone. I, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.